Okay, Tuesday evening. Let's do this. Let's celebrate tonight's hottest record. One more time. You heard it at six o'clock. And we're going to talk to its owner, which is Lana Del Rey. Lana, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. It is lovely to hear from you. I think last time I saw you was a live lounge performance when you covered Ariana's uh, tune, which was at least, I want to say, maybe four or five years ago. It's, it's been a minute. So nice to be reconnected. There's so much going on in your life. Um, so look, let's talk about this new album. Did you know that there's a tunnel under Ocean Boulevard? Definitely a title that we're not going to forget, right? <laughs> Probably forget it, but remember that it was weird. But look, that is memorable. I like it. There's intention <laughs> yeah. there. There's intention. Yes. How are you feeling about releasing like music in 2023? Because, you know, like you're such an incredibly established artist. So many artists now cite you as their inspo, but you're still here. You're still relevant. You're still like, you're still doing it in 2023. Did you imagine that it would last like this long and you'd still be sort of like at this capacity because it's such a precarious thing being an artist, isn't it? You know, it can be so fickle sometimes. Hell yeah. Precarious thing being an artist. Good Lord. <laughs> uh, no, no, I did not think I'd be here in 2023. Uh, happy to be here, I guess. Jeez, in 2012, no, the way things were going, I definitely didn't think that. I mean, the word relevant, I don't even think I thought that would be used. No. But you are like, that's the thing. Like we we still get excited about your music, which is like, it's something to celebrate, you know, because I think we live in such a disposable yeah. sort of time, especially right now where people will like, enjoy a song for like, I don't know, two weeks. And it's like, okay, next. I am grateful that like, at least the intention behind what I was thinking when I was writing pulled this train this far. Uh, that's kind of nice not to have to pull out too many uh, tricks and just sort of keep it moving. Yeah, you haven't had to start a TikTok dance yet, which I think is great for you. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie. I put up a sh really stupid dance, but it, it was for fun. God help me. So we got this tune, The Grants, an ode to your loved ones. Like It's such a gorgeous like swell of music and like just so choral, all these voices coming together. Um, how pleasurable was it to, to record? It was really fun. I, um, I recorded it with Zach Dawes. The way it starts with the gospel singers, I think you know, because I executive produced too. So once they were learning the chorus and they made that mistake in the beginning, mm -hmm. I snapped my finger and I was like, Zach, snap that part where Melody tells everyone that they messed up and put it at the top of the song because that's how the top of the album should start and then go right into Tunnel. Because, I mean, not only was it soulful, but also, you know, so beautifully flawed, if you will, on, on, on their behalf, just trying to learn it, which of course on the second take, they miraculously learned it perfectly. <laughs> so to me, there's so much symbolism there because I liked the naturalness of it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's such a warming um, sound, you know, you know, you like kind of feel it in your chest almost. Yeah, I love the way when they get it the second time, the way they say, uh, the way John Denver sings in that high harmony. I was like, oh, wow. Obviously, we're going to be expecting to hear that live because you're going to be headlining the other stage at Glastonbury. <laughs> yes. as, as I say that, you're like, I can, I can feel me like, really, am I? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing that. Yeah, you are. Yeah. I am, I am, I am, I am. I've been, you know what's so funny? I've been excited to like tell people. So, you know, I... I, I wanted to tell people because as we started to announce some festivals, it's unfathomable to me to headline the second stage of Glastonbury. I mean, come on. They had asked me to play Glastonbury the last three years, but we just weren't ready. I didn't want to say yes before we had like a big band. We did do it before, like eons ago. But honestly, it feels like yesterday. Like I remember being on that stage vividly because I had never been on a stage where they set the crowd back about a thousand feet. Yeah. So every time I tried to come forward, past the monitors to get closer to everybody, the feedback would like ring through the crowd. And I thought, oh, wow, I'm, I'm really stuck on the stage. Like I can't go down like I usually do and, and sing with everybody. We cannot wait to see you on that stage. Um, and look, there's 11 years worth of material to celebrate. So that's going to be a joy. And I'm sure this is going to be in the set. No pressure. Uh, the grants. Yeah, no, I put it there. I put it at the end. It's yes. Gonna be like, I think there's going to be a medley mashup. I think it's going to have to be at this point, like 
one and a half minutes of every single song. <laughs> you know what? You've got you've got the material. Do it. Why not? We'll eat, yeah, we'll eat it up. Yeah. Uh, Lana, thank you very much for the chat. We're going to play the grants one more time. Tonight's hottest record from Lana Del Rey. We will see you in June. <laughs>